عاصم الجبابرة وكاسر الأكاسرة اللهم دمر كل ساحر وساحرة حق من عبد وأكرم من سئل والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراج المنير أما بعد أحب في الله Alhamdulillah for Allah giving me this opportunity again to narrate to you what is going on and what's the dangers which we face in a regular. To warn you and to be alert. The magician or those evil people who resort to the magician, they go and look for substances or they use substances, aromatic substance or any another substance which is it looks known to our life and they go and use that and do harm to the individual just to get to that individual they will use things where you don't absolutely su suspect and by the decree of Allah it hits recently there was a <coughs> a Somali family where I've, co I've deal dealt with them I've done ruqya on them and Eventually, I came to find out they have Sihrul Mashmoom. Sihrul Mashmoom is from the branches of Sihrul Hawaiya. Sihr has four branches Sihrul Turab, Sihrul Ma, Sihrul Nar, and Sihrul Hawaiya. They use these four branches for their own goal. They look at the individual which branch does he belong to? Does he belong to <coughs> Hawaii? Does he belong to Turabi? Does he belong to Tunari? Or does he belong to Ma'i? Now, Turabi is the dust. Nari is the fire. Ma'i is the water. Hawa'i is the air. The magic which stays in the air where the naked eye cannot see. And they hit you with it. Once they've done whatever they've done, their calculation, and they use it. So, the bottom line is that Sihr, they use substances where we don't suspect. This family was given this, Bakhur. This one, Sihr, in Allah, Sayyidu Bakhur. You cannot even suspect. Every time they use it, their matters escalate. And they were given this, Unsi, as a gift. The Unsi is very no known by the Somali communities. And this type of magic is very well known in Arabic Peninsula. The Bakhur and the Unsi, they use it a lot. And the Atar or the perfume. When it comes to the Asian side, they use Agarbati or they give Ta'weez and they burn it in the They burn it and the smoke stays in the air and the individual comes, he sniffs his in or he gets through his eyes. Who does he hit most common? Most common he hits those who... <coughs> who does he hit most common? Most commonly he hits those who are away from the remembrance of Allah. He goes and pounds, boom, and he hit them and destroy them totally. When he's in the air, the naked eye cannot see. But if you are upon your salah, Dhikr morning, evening, if he hits you, he hits you by the decree of Allah, Rabbul Izza. Now this sihr, which was hit by the Somali family, it was hit a mother and a daughter. And they were, they were both married. Now what happened? Look at this, subhanAllah. What happened? The daughter ran away from the husband and the mother, husband, ran away from him. So it became two women sitting in their house with no husband, both of them. The husband ran away and he doesn't, they don't even want to entertain coming back. This is a sihr was done on this bakhur and this unsi. And there were some other substances on top of it as well. This type of sihr, like I said, is dangerous. When he goes, he goes through there or the eyes and he stays in the head from the chest all the way up. And it causes havoc. It causes problem to that person. So much so that the person will struggle with his life. When this 
magician does it this type of sihr personally i think this type of sihr is the most dangerous because you cannot see it the other ones also they put in the food and whatever uh, it's the same but sihr is sihr all of them are dangerous we ask allah to protect us from any sihr now this they lose aromatic substance substance which smell nice substance which looks nice in the eye and easily human being get attracted by nice things when it hits it settles in the chest and the head like i said again it settles there all the way to the head and it becomes problematic for that individual the individual will go through diseases after diseases i'll mention this in the general symptoms the main symptoms are the general one inshallah i will mention them but these three symptoms are always the same always the same when it hits the person is the ibada the day living and the sleep the person will struggle with these three things will so if the person prays normally he will feel all right he will pray but he will struggle with his salah but if he does not pray that is when the problem comes he will struggle to pray general symptoms when this magic hits sinuses sinuses asthmatic allergic in the face itch in the face dryness in the face bleeding from the nose bleeding from the ears bleeding sometimes from the eyes mouth ulcer bleeding from the mouth teeth problem nightmares so much so the individual will dream of air and things like that and headache non stop headache when the sun is setting you will have so much headache the individual and the chest tightness always the throat tightness always he will feel irritation in the throat something is in the throat this is the symptoms of black magic of sihr mashmoo Sihr mashmoom is very common magic which is very common which is used by a magician the person will always itch in the head itch in the face the person will struggle absolutely struggle with any odor or inability to str- he will have st- he will struggle with sound he will struggle with lights he want to seclude himself he will struggle with any scent any odor that has been placed in the house he will struggle with it he want that to be eradicated asp dental problem eye movements rapidly eye movement the the neck pain and stuttering when he speaks bleeding i've mentioned from the mouth <sighs> weakness from the body completely total loss of sense smelling sense nervousness frequently crying frequently feeling upset changes in the mood swings sleeps for a long period of time heaviness always this is the signs of sihrul mashmoom sihr mashmoom i repeat is one of the most wicked sihr one of the most common also is the bleeding the person will have multiple bleedings allah and allah knows best the teeth or the nose or the ears or the eyes sometimes and allah knows best how to move forward from this calamity like this if you've been given as a gift or it was placed you don't know you get first of all you seek istiana'at was allah rabbul izza and dua ila allah and salah five times <coughs> alhamdulillah 
salah five times. First of all, isti'ana ila Allah, dua ila Allah, salah five times. Adhkar morning, evening. Qiratul Qur'an, don't forget. Do, uh, remembering Allah in abandon. And get luban, qistil hind, black seed, seeds, hiltit, and bakhur. Mix it together. <laughs> read Surah Al-Kafirun. Read Surah Al-Nas. Read Surah Al-Falaq. And Surah Al-Fatiha. Number five, Surah Al-Dukhan. Five surahs. Kafirun, Nas, Falaq, Fatiha, and Surah Al-Dukhan. Read on it three times each and inhale. Cover yourself with a, with a rug and inhale inside and smoke your house morning and evening or any time you get the chance. You do that, inshallah, by the will of Allah and you will feel better. And read these surahs frequently also in the water. Drink and shower with it and wipe it in your face and your chest, inshallah. By the will of Allah, you will recover from this private this type of sihr sihr mashmum from the ruqya talk abu yahya wa akhir da'wana wa salam ala al mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin ta yatabayyana lahum annahu al haq